guys, it is Arika Misha, and tonight we are going to be fixing some Stone Fire Man Originals. I'm going to make like little pizzas for me and the girls. Y'all know we love pizza. So, let's get right into it. I've already got my oven preheated. Go ahead and bring y'all in so y'all can see. Make sure I'm not standing in the light. Okay, alright. So, the Stone Fire Man's, I've got my pans all ready here. Okay. I've got some Newman's marinara. Newman's marinara. And of course, you can use spaghetti sauce if you want. Um, and I have my favorite, Publix pepperoni. Y'all know I love the Publix pepperonis. And I have some Publix shredded mozzarella cheese. Whatever cheese you want to use, whatever kind of cheese you want to use, vegan cheese, all that good stuff. Whatever kind of cheese you want to use. So, all right. And I'm diving right in tonight. I am ready. And this is another one of my quick through the week meal, guys. Quick through the week. I've worked all day and I don't feel like being in this kitchen all night. So, all right. So, and look at these things. These things are really big. Look. Look at this thing compared to my hand. Well, my hand ain't that big. But anyway, y'all. Y'all get what I'm saying. These things are huge. Huge. So, all right. I'm going to put them on the pan like this. Just put them like this. All right. And you guys will see how I'm going to fix it. Fix it however you want. I'm just showing y'all how I do it. Okay. So, go ahead. Let me get my... Get my sauce all ready here. Put a little sauce down there. Don't want to do too much. You don't want it to be too saucy. Then it'll be all soggy, you know? Your bread will be all soggy. I don't like that. Me and the girls we don't like all that. So, I'm going to put a little sauce. Because you got to remember your cheese is already going to put a little, little oil from the cheese. It's already going to come on here. So, I just do like a little light sauce. Not too much. Just a little light sauce. Just going to show you. I'm going to do the, these two so you guys can see how I'm fixing them. You don't want to do too much sauce. You know? So y'all see how I'm doing this? Just putting a little sauce. And I don't take my sauce all the way to the edge. I like to leave that. Y'all see what I'm going to do with that. You know, kind of like a little... Pizza, you know, a little personal pan pizza you're making. Don't want to do too much sauce here now. You don't want to do too much sauce. Just a little light layer of sauce. Don't want to do too much. All right, okay. That looks good. Get my sauce out of the way here. All right. So, of course, y'all know we got to lay down the cheese. Now, I done seen enough pizza made online and on TV, so... I've made enough. I've made quite a few pizzas in my day. So we got our sauce done. This is something quick and easy you can do for the family. Quick and easy. So I got a little nice layer of sauce down. Pull a nice little layer of cheese down. And you know it's like pizza. So I like using the mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. You can use the cheddar. Sometimes I use um, the cheddar cheese with the mozzarella. Sometimes I use just the regular cheddar. It don't matter. Just however I'm feeling. Y'all y'all know how that go. This is how I'm feeling, child. Because sometimes I may want just mozzarella. Sometimes I may want to mix. However I'm feeling. Alright, so. I want to do a nice little thin layer of cheese right here. First, doing the first thin layer of cheese. Now, my cheese, I want my cheese to cover that sauce now. Alright, so. I've got another whole bag of cheese over there. All right. And the pepperonis. Y'all know I'm going to load this up with pepperonis. Y'all already know. So I just take the pepperonis like that. You can lay them however you want to lay them. I like to try to make it all pretty. Make it all pretty, you know. I don't like eating sloppy food, y'all. I don't like food that looks sloppy. I, I just don't. Presentation is everything. Y'all know I've been preaching that. 
how you present yourself is everything. So, make sure you presenting yourself right. I always want to present myself right. I know that's right. I don't hide nothing from y'all. I present myself as crazy because that's what I am. I present myself. <laughs> oh, let me stop. Anyway, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get the pepperonis on this second one. We have tons of pepperonis. Pepperonis, pepperonis. I like saying it like the Italian people. Pepperonis, pepperonis. All right, let me go ahead and get these pepperonis on here. Uh -huh. Like I said, that layer of sauce that I did down there, that's gonna be it. I'm not doing no more sauce. We don't want too much sauce. We don't want all that sauce. We don't need all that sauce. We just need enough for it to be a little saucy. That's it. Mm -mm. I don't like a lot of sauce. Alright. Oh, this looking real good. And you know what? You can put all kind of meat on this. You can do turkey. You can do bacon. Whatever kind of meat you want to do. That's what I love about these little nans. You can do so much with them. You can have them room temperature and make like a little uh, lunch. You can put like ham and turkey on the top with some cheese. You can do all kinds of stuff with these, I'm telling you. And you know what? Now that I think about it, you could probably do something sweet too. Like kind of make like a little a little dessert. You know? That sounds good too. All right, let me get a couple more pepperonis for this one here now. Let me get more pepperonis, y'all. Bear with me. I'm almost finished. Because y'all know we got the low on the pepperonis. Let me, let me taste one of them pepperonis. How about two pepperonis? Oh, yeah. I love Publix pepperoni. They show good and fresh. And you know what? They're not expensive. They're like four dollars. And they give you so much. Alright, so we got that. I'm gonna put some cheese on top. Let me get this cheese open. Cause this video, this whole video gonna be me making it so y'all can see how I make it. And then I'm just gonna throw them in the oven and pull them out and show y'all. All right, let's do that last layer of cheese across the top. And y'all know how cheese melt down. So don't think I'm putting a lot of cheese because I'm not. Y'all know this cheese going to melt down, so don't do that. Don't do that. Be like, why she putting all that cheese on there? Try this cheese going to melt down. And we like a lot of cheese. That's why. Nah, we like a lot of cheese. Come on now, we gotta make it look good. Y'all know I gotta bring the parsley out. Y'all know how it go now. The oven all nice and preheated over there. Oh yeah, y'all, and I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. Cause you don't wanna cook these at a high heat. I'm telling y'all, from experience, I know. You don't wanna cook it at a high heat. Cause you know what, it, it makes it makes your bread hard. And you don't wanna do that. I've been there and done that, so. All right. Okay, this look good. That's looking good. I think I need to put a little bit more cheese over here, y'all. I think I need a little bit more cheese over here. Put some more cheese on it now. Yeah, a little bit more cheese. All right, okay. So, let me grab parsley, child, before he get to acting up and cutting up, child. Y'all say, hey, the parsley now. Okay, y'all better put some respect on parsley in there and don't do that. All right. Ooh, it's looking good, y'all. Look at it. Oh boy, I be getting excited. I be getting excited when the food be looking all pretty. I'm gonna get it all over so y'all can see how pretty it's gonna look. Look at that. Oh yeah, okay, Parsi child. Sit down some more, Parsi. I'm trying to tell you, you give them an entry, take a yard. That's the word of the day. Y'all know that? You give people an entry, sometimes they want to take a yard. Don't give them a yard, y'all. Give them an entry. You know, you try to be nice, give them an entry, and they want to take a whole yard. Don't, don't do it, y'all. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. That's just a word of the day. Give them an inch, they'll want to take a whole yard. Don't let people take advantage of you now. Don't let people do that. All right, let me bring y'all in so y'all can see parsley chai. Look at how they look, y'all. They're going to look even better when I take them out the oven. They're going to be all nice and roasted and toasted. Ooh, yes. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead. Let me get them in the oven. 350 degrees. I'm going to put them in there about 10 minutes. 
All right, I'll be back, y'all. All right, I just took them out of the oven. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in to see them. Yes. Oh, they look so good. I got to take y'all in. Look at that goodness. Just look at the goodness. Oh, it smells so good. Let me bring y'all along. I ain't going to do y'all like that. Oh, my goodness. So good. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that. Oh, I'm telling you, I made them in like what? Two, three minutes, five minutes. I made them in five minutes. I put them in an oven, 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Uh, if you want to put it in, you know, get a little extra brown like mine over here. Yeah. Put it in for about 15 minutes. I like mine a little, you know, just a little, little dark around the edges. Y'all see how it's looking. Now, y'all don't, don't pay attention to that right there, y'all. Don't, don't pay attention to that right there, y'all. That's just the cheese. You know, I had some cheese kind of still on the side, so, you know, it's got a little burnt. Okay, y'all, don't. Don't don't play. You know, it look a little burnt. That's just cheese, but my pizza is good. Don't judge it. Don't judge it by the way it look on the outside now, y'all. Hold up. Another word of the day. Don't judge it by the outside. Never judge on the way that it looks. Don't go about what it look like. Cause, hmm. I'm telling y'all gonna get me preaching one day. Word of the day. Second word of the day. See y'all, sometimes y'all get lucky, y'all get two words. Second word of the day. Don't go by what it look like. Don't go by what it look like now. Y'all know what I mean. Cause sometimes situations can look real ugly, real stressful, and real bad. But you know what? Don't go by what it look like. Don't go by what it look like, baby. Cause what it look like, that ain't what really going on. So don't judge it by what it look like. And y'all know what I mean by that. That's y'all second word of the day. All right, y'all. Y'all see me do it. So you know I did. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, guys. And don't forget that knowledge is power. All right, guys. Bye.